something I've always been curious about is how people make that camera spin effect when it comes to mixed reality videos. How mixed reality works is that you have your camera stationary in one location, so the only thing I could imagine was A, these people had pretty spacious green screen areas and maybe their cameras on some sort of a rail system, or B, They've got like a drone flying around or something, I don't know. However, it took me a little bit and I put two and two together. I've been using OVR advanced settings to rotate my play space pretty much every stream for every mixed reality video that I make. But what I did not know is that you could actually make the rotation a controller binding. How this works is that you're giving the illusion that the camera is moving. So in actuality, your camera's staying in the same place, but you're using, say in my case, I use Vive controllers the track pads to rotate the play space. Now, this is a little tough for people who have motion sickness, so I don't recommend it. I don't get motion sickness, but after messing around with it for the first time, I did get a little bit of vertigo, but it is something that I got used to. What you're doing is, because you're moving your play space, the front of your view is always going to change, so you have to physically move your body to keep up with the what's considered the front of your play space or your game area. Well, let's show you how to set it up. Alrighty, first thing you actually need to do is to download and install OVR Advanced Settings. You can find this, it's free by the way, either on the Steam Store or through GitHub, but I recommend Steam Store because it'll always update automatically for you. So you'll know that OVR Advanced Settings has properly installed when you go into your Steam UI menu. Then we're going to see a little cog here that wasn't there before called OVR Advanced Settings. You're going to click that. And since we're here, we're going to go into Motion and then make sure for Space Drag, you have that selected to both left and right if you want to use it or set it to both the left and right hand. You can edit the bindings either with the headset on or from your desktop. Personally, I find the desktop easier, so I'm going to show you how to do it that way. First, open Steam VR. We're going to press three lines in the corner and then go to Settings. Click Controllers, Show Old Binding UI. Then something like this will pop up. Show More Applications. Go down to OVR Advanced Settings. Now you can pick a binding that already exists, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to use what we already have. So I'm going to go to current binding and then edit. A couple of things. First, for whatever game you're going to use this in, make sure your bindings don't interfere with already existing buttons in the game, such as the menu button. Uh, I'm using Vive controllers, so I find it easy to set my bindings to the trackpad. So make sure you're in the motion tab up here. Then I'm going to go down to trackpad, hit the plus sign. We're going to hit button. Uh, next to click, it says none. So we're going to press that and select left hand space turn. And then the check mark. Optionally, you can set this to both controllers. So I'm going to do the same for the right. But instead of selecting left hand space turn, of course, we're going to select right hand space turn. If you only bind to one controller, you may have to put a piece of tape on it, labeling as either the left or the right, just to save confusion. I also recommend making a reset play space button because if you spin too much, you'll get that notice that your play space starts to get out of bounds and the game may give you that get back in your area warning. For this, I decided to go with the grips on my right controller. So same thing, we're gonna hit the plus sign, we're gonna click button, none and we're going to set this to reset offsets and then the check mark so what this does is when you sort of spin too much and you notice your play space is way far away if you if i click the grip button it's going to reset it exactly to how it was before we messed with the uh, space turn and there you go can't wait to see what sort of music videos cinematic style stuff you guys end up creating feel free to post any videos you've created using this tutorial in the comments below if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I also stream on Twitch every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6 p.m. Pacific. You can also find me on Patreon, where I release exclusive tutorials or tutorials before they're even released on any other channel, as well as some other fun exclusives. Until then, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you on the next one.